But now on one, Alice and Kip trade verbal punches and tensions are high as the detox kicks in at the clinic in Shortland Street. The wedding caterers. I rang two days ago to cancel and the ditzy person didn't pass on the message. Uh-oh. I know where you can source a batch of pre-prepared, high-quality food at bargain basement prices. I've got food poisoning. I'm sorry, Chris. I had the free club sandwiches. The same sandwiches I just served to your boss and all his guests. Whetted our guests' appetites, now they're hungry for more, so please go right ahead. Your ideas went down well in there. I've never thought of you as a strategic planner. <laughs> One of my hidden talents, Helen. You also have many failings. Let's just see how the year plays out before we get too cocksure of ourselves. All right? Put the food down now. What? Are you out of your mind? That food is poison. Thank goodness the rest of us are still here. Libby, if this is about your argument with Kieran... No! This has nothing to do with Kieran. That food is off. Well, the sandwiches are, maybe all of it. Oh, no, not you. And the rest. There are platters of food going around in there. Do something, Libby. Excuse me, everyone. This is a health warning. Put the food down. Spit out what you're eating. Spit it now. I can't hold this much longer. Where's Gabrielle? Oh, no way. You're doing fine. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's slipping. Luke? It's not. I can feel it. It's all in your mind. The same thing happened to me while I was working in Zanzibar. At last. Luke, an update? Chris was mid-operation when he was suddenly struck with stomach cramps. I meant about the surgery. Of course. A straightforward osteotomy. The guide wires have been drilled in and... The bone wedge appears to be gone. Cartilage underneath looks healthy, though. Tanya's been holding the screw in place since Chris dashed out. It's been six minutes and 40 seconds since I was paged. This can't have been easy for you. I managed. She was a trooper. Indeed she was. Thanks. Vitals? He's stable. BP's 115 over 75. Suction. Excellent work, Tanya. Thanks to your steady hand and calm demeanor, a possible disaster has been averted. My sentiments, exactly. Looking good, Mrs. Baxter. For all her faults, Alice here is a dab hand with the sling. I'll take that as a compliment. Mm. This is for the painkillers. Make sure you keep taking them. I will. Thank you. Your friend's waiting for you outside. Can I give you a hand? Oh, please. Cover for me. I have to... Hey, Lou. What's it? Go easy on yourself. No overdoing it. What's up with Louise? I'd say she's the latest victim of the food poisoning outbreak. Uh Outbreak? How many people are down? Well, there's no official figure, but quite a few. Rumour says it's the new cat food. Yes, I know two people who won't be getting it. Way to go. What I tell you, detoxing has its upside. So true. Well, what about me? I ate in the calf today. Well, that's what you get for scoffing junk. <laughs> Sing it, sister. If only you'd stayed on the straight and narrow with us, you too might have been saved. You guys make me sick. <laughs> no, that'll be your unhealthy food choices. <laughs> Hey, Karen, we're back. Hey, back from work. From our honeymoon, which we were going to have at home, but then we thought, what the heck? So we just jumped in the car and had a fab two days in Rotorua. Oh, good for you, but why Rotorua? I mean, the smell. Mmm, sulfur, I love it. Hormones. Her olfactory system is all that whack. The food smells good too. One of the nurses said some of it's free. We only came in to grab a few things from my locker. I didn't realise how hungry I was. Go on then, help yourself. Cheers, Karen. Are you still doing open? Why wouldn't I be? Uh, let me think, because you've poisoned half the staff? Excuse me, that was your toxic sandwiches, but just be safe from binning the rest of the reception food and don't think I'll be paying your son for Oh, it's it. always about the money with you, isn't it? Never mind these poor people. Oh, Morgan! I insist that you don't eat here. Well, why not? Because there's been a spate of food poisoning. Oh, goodness, Gerald. Oh, that wasn't my fault. Let me explain what happened. We are not sure which food item is to blame, but we are certain that it came from this cafeteria. Isn't that right? Yes, I suppose, technically. Hmm, which means you'll have to shut shop until we're confident that the problem has been rectified. Shut? You must be joking. I assume you've read the hazard control procedures? But I thought not. 
You have to follow the steps, starting with everybody out. Oh, well, we wouldn't have taken the risk anyway. OK, good. Now that that's over, welcome back, Tippets. How was your trip? Wonderful. Even if we did have to watch the pennies. Yes, now this probably isn't the best time, but I do have your bill from the wedding. What's all this? Items that couldn't be cancelled at short notice without charge. I was hoping to delete the food cost. I thought I'd sold it on, but the other party is being difficult. Libby, this is way too much. We can't afford this. It's way under the original budget. But, but then we went to Rotorua. We used the wedding funds. Well, I'm sure you'll sort something. I better go. We haven't got this kind of money. What are we going to do? Uh, no, no, well, it's all right. Uh, we will, we will make it work. It'll be fine. Don't you worry. Whopping great glass of sev. Please, I'm a celebrate. What's the occasion? Haven't you heard? They're dropping like flies across the road. Food poisoning, but not this little black duck. Me neither. Make that too. Hmm, giving in so easily, Papa. I'm inside a place. But put it in a wine glass. I have a reputation to uphold. We could have one drink each. I won't tell if you don't. No way. Okay, OJ, thanks. In a dirty glass. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Hmm. Okay, I know what you're thinking, but let's just go and join them. I'm not speaking to Tracy Morrison outside the hospital. Please, Scotty. Let's stick the water. Here you go, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Usual buffalo fries for you, Kip. Extra cheese and bacon bits? I can't. I'm sorry, mate. This isn't forever. Harden up. You guys are like a couple of kids. Not me. I'm a grown up and I'm not missing junk food at all. Junk food? Our buffalo fries? Yeah, in no way do I agree, but we're on a detox and there's money at stake. And there's only one person who's going to be forking out and it ain't going to be me. You are so going to crack first. As if. And when you do, I'll be down here shouting the bar with my 500 big ones. Bring it on. Here we go. Full cream milk, calcium rich. There must be an overload right now. I've never drank so much milk in my life. Well, you need it. Did you know that if expectant mothers are low in calcium, the fetus can just leach it right out of their body? So you're talking leech triplets. Don't. I'm worried enough about money without fretting about osteoporosis as well. Well, I told you not to worry. That is my department. It's both of ours. I'm just glad I'm still working. I wish you'd stop. You've been getting that back pain lately and... Only when I lift things. It's nothing. A twinge. Well, I'd still rather that you stayed at home and kept your feet up. Not yet. I'd go mad with boredom sitting around the house. And I'm only on light duties. You won't make a fuss about this tomorrow, will you? Would it make a difference if I did? I love nursing. I like being with people. But when it all gets too much... I'll go straight on maternity leave. All right, whether we're broke or not. Promise me. I promise. But the longer I work, the more we can save for when we... Uh, you made a promise, and now you've got to stick to it. You've got to forget about the money, all right? Okay, now, uh, drink up before it gets a skin on it. <laughs> this stupid diet has given me nightmares. Have a cup of coffee, that'll pick you up. Mm, good call. Oh, you little vixen, you're trying to trick me into breaking my detox. I'm just hastening the inevitable. You're a weak man, Kip. You need caffeine and trans fats. You know you do. Oh. Mm, that's good, that's so good. Have it. Go on. You know you want to. It's only a bet. It's no big deal. Get it over with, you reckon? Mm. How else are you going to get through the long, hard day ahead? Mm. Oh, ho, ho, dream on, loser. It's only a matter of time, addict boy. <laughs> I had these away. You put them out deliberately. I like you fired up the coffee machine. It's not the same. Nicotine is a genuine addiction. It's very hard to break. Caffeine is just a stupid habit, like fry-ups and chocolate. You're not playing fair. <laughs> Save the violence for someone that cares. Fine. That's the way you want to play it. From now on, it's no holds barred. Whatever it takes to win, the sooner the better.
And finally, I'd like to thank the Bureau nurses for stepping into cover. If we all follow protocols, we should be safe from whatever bug is on the loose. That's it. Have a good day. Looks like I'm on my own in Ward 2, no Bureau nurse. That's strange. At Box 3, it was all confirmed. Sorry I'm late. I only got the call an hour ago. It's fine, Cindy. I'm just glad that you're here. You'll be on with Morgan this morning. Luck of the draw. I hope it won't be a problem. Not for me. Or me. Good, because we are going to have enough on our plates today. Here we go. Are you sure you should be working here with all the food poisoning around? I'll be fine. Okay. Only if it's about needing the money. It's not. Well, I'm glad you're restricted to light duties. Saves me forcing you to take it easy. I'm totally up for the heavy work, okay? We're on the postdoc ward. It shouldn't be too bad. Still, I know you miss independent. I'll be keeping my eye on you. No. Look like you're about to toss your cookies. No, just to kill a headache. Caffeine withdrawal. Mmm, get off. I don't drink that much. Okay, I drink a bit. I like it. Yes, and your body's adapted by increasing the adenosine receptors in your nervous system. By cutting out caffeine, you're more sensitive to adenosine, hence the headache. Probably some nausea, am I right? Mm, whatever the paracetamol kick in, so. That's a story. Five days or so, you'll be through the worst. Five days? Mm. Gee, thanks for making me feel better, mate. Oh. oh, damn, damn, damn! Keep it seemly, Alan. What the hell? Mr. Willis here has had a stroke. Would you mind helping me get him up onto the bed, please? Sure. Okay, he does it. You need to take time. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ow. Look what you did, Tracy. That was stupid. It's just a little nick. I'm very sorry, sir. I'll get you a band aid. Hey, what is with the tone in there? You were clumsy. And you were out of line. Don't go inflicting your nicotine withdrawals on me. Me not smoking has nothing to do with it. You stuffed up, and now you've got a bleeding patient in there. Do something about it. What's wrong with your nurses? I'm waiting for bloods to be taken. Oh, I'm a temp. Just get know. on with it. We haven't got all day. They may be in charge, but they need to pull their heads in. Someone needs to tell them. Sorry, I'll have to try again, sorry. Shall I do that? It can be a bit awkward if you can't get close. Yeah, it is, thanks. How's it going? Are you coping? Yeah, fine. Nothing's too difficult? Not at all. Good, carry on. Thanks for not saying anything. I told you, I just want to help. I appreciate that, but... You know, I would have managed the lure myself in the end. I, I just needed more time. I know. You still look peaky to me. Are you sure you're all right? Absolutely. Clean bill of health. Same with Chris, which means you didn't get too bad a dose, which is good news for us. But not Helen Carson. She still feels she's at death's door. I'll never hear the end of it. Oh. Come on, these things happen. She must know that. She's a reasonable woman. <laughs> she is a harridan, Libby. If my head was on the chopping block, she would be there with her knitting. Now, I want to know who is responsible. Where is Kieran? Cleaning the calf. Get him in here now. You know what I think's to blame? That fish stew. Some greebly transferred from the fish onto the savouries and the sandwiches. We'll know for sure when the tests come back. Which is when? This afternoon. Okay, call the lab. Tell them to hurry up. I'll try. And get Kieran. At last. Did you speak to your cousin about the wedding catering? Yeah, and he didn't get any message cancelling the order. I rang and I spoke to some ditzy girl who said she'd pass it on. You should have talked to my cousin in person, especially when you cancelled at the last minute. That wasn't my fault. Whatever. The food was delivered to the place like you wanted. When the guys found the doors locked, they had to leave it outside. They what? They had heaps of jobs on. The guys rang my cuz, he got a hold of the garden tea house fellas and they put the food in the fridge. And how long did that all take? Mm, couldn't say. A fair while. Oh, and my cousin says to tell you that the bill still stands. <sighs> Morgan, sweetie, hey, wake up. Wake up. Oh, goodness. I'm going to close my eyes for a minute. Oh, you're exhausted. I'm not, I'm just... 
your shit <laughs> in your gestation for three. I probably just need some vitamins, maybe some glucose. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get back to work. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? You are on my list. You've got the bug. No, I'm fine now. Are you sure? You, you look awful. Thanks, you've made my day. I don't know that this place is safe in your condition. What if you're coming down with the loo? I'm not. You worry too much. Something wrong? No, nope, everything's peaching. I heard you were here. Just doing my bit to help. Morgan, we're you back. Well, surely an extra minute can't hurt. I'm ready now. Relax, Gerald. I'll take care of her, make sure she doesn't overdo it. I can take care of myself, really. What's this about, TK? I'm busy. Um, do you want a break? What do you think it's about? You two are acting like monsters. It has to stop. Is this Tracy? Has she been complaining? It's everyone. Look, I know you two are detoxing, and believe me, I understand how hard that is, but you can't go around taking bites out of people. It's too hard on the staff. Oh, I'm just running my department. If people don't like it, they, they don't. The bureau nurse has already threatened not to come back here if you oh, two are on duty. The wusses. I've been nothing but professional. <laughs> so? You've been bad-tempered bullies taking your stress out on everyone. Oh, I don't have to listen to hey, this. I'm talking to you as a mate, both of you. Now, you need to face the fact that you're suffering withdrawals and make an effort to rein it in be before what? Before everyone out there loses complete respect for you. And I tell you what, it's happening fast. We are IVs in a wee tangle, Mrs. Selleck. I'll fix that. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. It's just, it's just a wee dizzy spell. It's nothing. Morgan, sit down. There you go, Mrs. Selleck. Are you comfortable? She looks pale. She does, doesn't she? Maybe you should go. No, no, I'm all good now. I'm ready to run. It'll pass in the flesh. Come on, Tracy. Get with it. You've seen this done heaps of times. Yes, but I have never done it before, which is why you two need to be patient. I'm learning. Oh, this is ridiculous. Are you deliberately dragging the chain? No. You must be. Nobody could be this slow. You're not helping distracting her. Leave her alone. Oh, you can talk. You're the one who... Look, I will pick up the pace. Just, Alice, you show me where to go from here. I expect you know what I'm about to say. I'm managing, Scotty. I really am. I had one little dizzy spell. Because you're doing too much. You're heavily pregnant with triplets. You're not fit to work an eight-hour shift. I disagree. You know that as your boss, I can make you take early maternity leave. Why would you? Today was a one-off. It won't happen again. You can't guarantee that. I know you need the money, but I have to put patient safety first. Are you saying I'm not? I'm saying it's tough work. And you've got your health to consider too, not to mention the babies. Would you really want to put them at risk? Never, though, my whole life. Then don't be reckless. And don't force me to make the decision for you. It's time to go, Morgan. This is Lewis Ehrlich, possible fractured pelvis, query internal injuries, lacerations to the shin. Right, cubicle two, we'll need a CT scan. I'll call as soon as he's comfortable. Oh, comfortable, that's a lot. Yeah, medical alerts, there's no opiates. He refused pethidine en route. Okay, we'll transfer on my count. One, two, three. Thanks, guys. Till next time. Okay, Mr. Ehrlich, how about we get you some gas for that pain? Yeah, about time. I'll call radiology. Okay, so, Mr. Ehrlich, how did it happen? For the hundredth time, a bunch of enormous crates fell on me from a great height. Ouch. And what do you do for a living exactly, Mr. Ehrlich? I'm a ballet dancer. What do you think? I work in a warehouse, you know, with crates coming and going all day on forklifts. Right. How long do we get that scan? Not sure. They'll call us. What, is that the best you can do? There are other patients waiting. We can't work miracles. Maybe you could ask a few simple questions or, or maybe you're too blonde for that. I'll tell you what, how about you give me that gas and you can just suffer. Yeah, you just try it, Missy. Alice, time for your break, huh? Yeah, and a chill pill. Alice. Okay, we're moving as fast as we can, Mr. Ehrlich. Now I just have to check you for internal injuries. Are you sure you're a proper doctor? You're looking experienced. I'm a consultant. Oh, I'm not convinced. I need a second opinion over here. Just keep sucking on the gas, there's a good man.
As I said, any further staffing issues, please let me know. Thank you very much. It goes for you too. I don't want any department under-resourced. The Bureau has us covered, but thanks. Okay. Oh, tough night last night? Mm. Let's not compare notes. You wanted to see me? Yes. Should I go? No, please stay. You're a victim too. Kieran, I don't know where to start. How could you make such a terrible mistake? So the test results are back. It was my fault. Not yet, but there's no doubt you served the contaminated food. Kieran, this is a hospital. How could you put patients' lives in jeopardy? Excuse me. I just got the lab results. Kieran's not to blame. I am. What? How could this happen? There was a mix-up with Gerald and Morgan's wedding food. The order wasn't cancelled. I was trying to save the money, so I sold it all on to Kieran. You told me it had been properly refrigerated. Apparently it was left outside for a while. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Kieran, I apologise. Naturally, I assumed... No, 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 it's fine. I'm just going to sort it. Yes. But if you could make it clear to everyone that the cafeteria wasn't to blame. Yes. Libby, you will send out a memo straight away, please. Absolutely. Again, I'm really sorry. I'll talk to you later. Lib, you can't blame yourself for this. It was a genuine mistake. No, it is my fault. I forced that food on Kieran. You were trying to help Gerald. I wanted to make Kieran pay, so I set it all up. The last minute board meeting, Callum asking him to cater and the overpriced wedding food. I poisoned you, all out of spite. What sort of person does that make me? The sort of person who's still obsessed with her ex-lover. Don't really know where that leaves us. This is Drake's ECG. Got time. Unfortunately, the results What the hell is this? As I was just saying, the printouts aren't clear, but... It's an ECG. How hard can it be to get it right? I tried three times, but she wouldn't stop coughing. Always an excuse. Do it again. Excuse me, don't speak to me like that. I know you can't handle this detox. This is not about the detox. It's about this. I told you what happened, and for the record, I'm not the one who's always making excuses because I'm not the one who's always stuffing up. Meaning what? I am. I could list the amount of times since you started as HOD, but I'm too professional for that. Unlike you, I don't let personal issues get in the way at work. That's a joke. This place has been nothing but a hunting ground for you. It's been one doctor after the next since the day you arrived. How dare you say that? It's the truth, and these are only the ones I know about. First there was Craig, then there was Crazy Ethan. You shut up! You have no right to say that! And then there was Xavier. You almost hooked him, but then he started to realise what you were really like and he started to weigh up his options. Marriage to Alice versus the horrors of Zimbabwe. It's no wonder he got on the next plane out of here. Who wouldn't? Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean that much. It's the second of the live shows and three more acts from each team compete, but the judges will choose who progresses as the Voice of Ireland continues on Sunday at 6.30 here on One.